What's going on, everybody? It's AG here. Let's go ahead and take a look at my updated college football playoff predictions for the upcoming college football playoff from this week right here. Now, we do have some changes going forward now with the losses this past week, you know, from Missouri. They've dropped out completely. We had some upsets, you know, USC dropped out. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the movement. At number 12, we've got Boise State. As of right now, they look like the favorite, I would say, to get that G5 spot. As long as they can run the table and beat UNLV and as long as Oregon keeps winning, they're in good shape going forward. I don't think Liberty can go undefeated and pass Boise State because they had that loss to Oregon that was tight. So the real questions for me come in at 10-11 and the next team out. So the three teams I considered there were Miami, BYU, and Tennessee. So BYU in this scenario, I've got them most likely looking at their schedule. I think they can go undefeated. And then as of right now, I've got them losing in the championship to Iowa State in the Big 12 championship. So I think they would sneak in uh, at number 11 with one loss. Originally, I didn't know if the Big 12 could get two teams in. But if both these teams go undefeated, that's their best shot at getting both these teams in for sure, at getting two teams in. Number 10, Tennessee. So Tennessee, I think, will have three losses by the end of the year. But Despite losing this week to Arkansas, I think their other two losses are going to be to Alabama and Georgia. So I think that's going to give them the benefit of the doubt there to get in, even with three losses. I think they are one of the few teams that could get in with three, just because those losses would be two playoff teams minus the Arkansas one. Uh, but the other team, like I said, that I'll consider here is probably Miami. They could go undefeated, but with how they've looked so far, I feel like they're going to drop a game eventually. Number nine, Alabama. So I've got them losing another game at some point whether it's the LSU, Tennessee, whoever, uh, I think they will drop one more. And I think that would probably drop them out of the SEC championship. So I think they'll be in with two losses. They're, them, Texas, Ohio State, and Georgia, I think they could lose two to anybody, and they're probably still going to get in. Number eight, Notre Dame. Notre Dame, I've got with only the one loss to Northern Illinois, I think they'll run the table. Uh, the only team I could see upsetting them is maybe USC, but with how USC has looked as of late, I think Notre Dame gets the win there. Number seven, Oregon. So – Oregon and Penn State do not play each other. I think Ohio State beats both of them. So in this scenario, I think Oregon gets to the Big Ten Championship. I'm not entirely sure the tiebreaker. I looked it up, and pretty much the tiebreaker between them to Oregon and Penn State, it would be their opponent's records, and they play somewhat of the same schedule. So, you know, whoever plays a tougher schedule pretty much is going to get in. Uh, but they play pretty similar teams there. So I think Oregon gets in and then loses to Ohio State again in the Big Ten Championship. So they would have two losses here at number seven. Then number six, I've got Georgia. So I actually think Georgia will beat Texas when they play, potentially. Uh, if not, Georgia, I think, still just loses to Texas in the SEC championship. So I've got them at six, but I think they will be in the playoff, no doubt. Number five, Penn State. So I've got them with only one loss to Ohio State. Like I said, them and Oregon don't play each other. So as long as they can beat the Michigans of the world, the Illinois, they should be able to get in regardless. Number four, I've got Iowa State. I think they can win the Big 12. They've looked good so far. Uh, their toughest game was against Iowa, but they got the win there in a rivalry game. So I think Iowa State's in good company. Uh, they do play West Virginia this week, so we'll kind of know pretty quickly, I think, what they're made of because West Virginia is not bad. Number three, I've got Clemson. So I've got them dipping Miami or it'll be Miami or SMU most likely in the championship. And I think Clemson goes undefeated. They only have that one loss to Georgia. Other than that, though, I think they run the table here. Number two, Texas. So, again, I think Texas is going to lose a game at some point. Now, they do look like the best team in the SEC so far, I would say, uh, minus that first quarter for Alabama against Georgia. But I think Texas loses one game, whether it's to Georgia, A&M, Oklahoma, probably one of those games I think they will lose because you've kind of got that you've got that opportunity now with the playoff. You can lose a game and still get in easily. Uh, so I think Texas loses a game at some point, but they do win the SEC championship over Georgia. Then, number one, I've got Ohio State. I think they do go undefeated. I think they beat Penn State. I think they beat Oregon. Now, we'll find out this week they do play Oregon, but I think they won both of those games. I think they beat Michigan. So as of right now, this is the playoff that I would have for like going forward. Now, it isn't just at this point with this kind of a prediction based. So what I think teams are going to do going forward, I'll try to put some of these out as the weeks go by, you know, with a bunch of movement. If there's a ton of movement, if some teams get upset, I'll try to update it. But who would you add to this list? Who would you move up? Who would you move down? Let me know down in the comment section. Subscribe for more.